Good afternoon, welcome. My name is Philomena and this is going to be your yoga stretch, 15 minutes. And today we're going to focus on the down dog and a variation of it in the three-legged down dog to uh, cat position and cat cow as well as child's pose. So um, here we go. Um, before we start, I just want to advise you that you or any of your family members joining this session, please consult a physician before starting any exercise program, especially if you have any known medical conditions and or if you're pregnant. If you experience any dizziness during this session, please stop immediately. We're not able to assume liability for any accidents or injuries. Please take it easy. Uh, you're, you listen to your body. It knows exactly what it can do and can't do, so pay attention to it. And if you need to take a break, do so. Okay, here we go. So. Standing in your mat, feet hip distance apart, contracting the abdominals in, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. If you cannot breathe out through the nose and it's creating a problem, use your mouth, that's quite all right. Shoulders are right over your hips. Fingers are facing and pointing down towards the floor. Lifting the chest up, the chin is tucked back, parallel to the ground. Root your heels so that the inside of the heel is pressing down against the floor, the ball of the foot, the big toe. Close your eyes if you like. From here, inhale, breath, lift those arms all the way up. Feel the space and the energy surrounding your arms as you lift up. Palms touch. And then draw those arms down and feel the vastness of that upper back. Feel the shoulder blades moving as you lower your arms. Feel the space between your arms and your body side. And it's now getting closer, decreased as they get closer. Inhale, lift those arms all the way up again. Hold the palms there, bring them together if you can, otherwise certainly keep them apart. Holding here, stretching up as you relax and release shoulders down towards your, your buttocks, letting those shoulder blades drop. From here, soften the knees, so you may want to bend them up a little bit, inhale, lengthen through the arms, exhale over to one side. Breathe here, one deep breath. Inhale, lift your torso up with the arms. Exhale over to the other side. Holding here, and with every exhalation, I want you to contract into the belly, engaging into your mula bandha. That's the lowest, deepest abdominal wall muscle, your transversus. And in yoga, it's known as your mula bandha. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, lower those hands all the way down. Lifting the chest high, elongating through the space. Uh, so your, your spine, rather. Inhale, lift. Showing you side profile, you can stay right there. Exhale, fold forward, keeping those knees soft. Reaching out with those arms if you can, otherwise bring them on your hips. Hold here. Now, if you cannot reach the floor, that's quite all right. Hang on to your, your shins, your lower legs, any blocks, any props you may have around the house. Use them. Holding here, deepening up that fold. Bend the knees now, inhale breath, tuck the hips slightly underneath your torso as you unravel and uncurl all the way up. Stacking vertebrae by vertebrae on top of one another, roll the shoulders back, you're in upright position. Take a deep breath in, lift those arms up again. Exhale, let's forward fold once again. As you fold, keep those knees soft. In here, when you're here, in the fold, inhale, lift the fold up halfway, shifting your hips right over your ankles. Exhale, fold. Hold here. Again, it's not necessary to reach the floor. Relax the shoulders, lifting the edge of your pelvis, known as your ischians or your sit bones. Common turn sit bones up to the ceiling. From here, inhale, breath. Exhale, take your right leg and step back into the front lunge. And we're only going to use this particular position or pose to get into the down dogs. I'm going to go focus on it too, too, too long. Really opening up the hip here. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, take the other leg. And you're now into your plank. I want you to start feeling the squeeze of the shoulder base together and drawing your mula bandha, your lower abdominal wall, up to your spine and breathing deeply here. Long, straight spine. Inhale, breath here. Take your opposite leg and bring it forward so you're, you've now into a front lunge with the other leg. Lengthening as you press your heel back of the other leg towards your back wall.
from here. Take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, you're going to draw that front leg to the back, and you're into that plank again. Really focusing on that plank, pushing up through the inside of the heels. Inhale, breath here, and take your hips all the way up to the ceiling into that down dog now. If you need to do this with bent knees, please do so. Lifting those sit bones up to the ceiling. Inhale, bring your torso slightly forward. Exhale, and take it back into that down dog, trying to get the heels onto the floor. From there, I'm going to ask you to take one knee and bend it, then straighten it, and then alternate it with the other leg. And keep doing this. On every time you exhale, you straighten the legs, you pull the belly to the spine, and keep lifting the sit bones up to the ceiling. One more time on each leg. Hold the down dog as you exhale. Inhale, come on to your tiptoes, lifting onto the balls of the feet, not the baby toe. Holding here. Bend the knees, come down into child's pose as you lower your hips right onto your calves. And take your arms by your body side, so you release your body weight off of your arms and your upper back and shoulders to just relax a moment. Take a couple of deep breaths. From here, come on to all fours. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Spread the knees lightly so that they are exactly underneath your shoulder, uh, not your shoulders, rather your hips. Round through from the tailbone. So if your tailbone wants to reach in between the knees. And then exhale to flat back into extension. Let's do that again. Round up, tucking right under to flat back in extension. Take it to a flat back. Square the shoulders away from the ears. This time I'm going to ask you to spread your hands out a little bit wider. Curl the toes. Inhale, exhale, come into that down dog once again and stretch it. Hands are a little wider now. Holding up the edge of the sit bones up to the ceiling. From here, I'm going to ask you to take your right leg up, stretch with a pointed toe. Now I'm going to ask you to lift the heel of the other leg up. As you exhale, lower the heel down. Flex the leg that is lifted. Flex the foot of the leg that is lifted. Bend the knee. Externally rotate. And then that's going to allow you to rotate and look underneath that armpit. So if you have your right leg lifted, you're turning underneath your right armpit. Release the rotation. Extend the leg and lower it down. From there, resume your down dog position. So if you need to adjust, do it here. Inhale, lift the other leg up, point your toes. Lift the heel up. Lower the heel down. Flex the foot. Bend the knee, externally rotate, look underneath the opposite armpit. Rotate, lower that leg down. From here, come on to your toes, bend the knees, and take it into child's pose, bringing your hands by your body side. Just relax and breathe.
We have one more variation of the down dog. Feel free to modify. I know your arms might be a little bit fatigued, but we're gonna give it a go. Come on up on all fours, round through, into cat. Take it to cat cow. Curl the toes and take it to a down dog position. This is gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but you could do this. You gotta take it into a plank position. As you start lowering, you're gonna bring your right knee in to your chest as close as you can. Hold here. From here, lift back. Lower the foot. I'm not gonna go through the full movement, but that would be pretty challenging in itself right there. From here, Let's do the other leg. Lower into plank and draw the other knee underneath you. So you're holding a plank. So that's a lot of work here. But saying, where's the stretch? <laughs> One more breath. On the exhale, lift. So you can see where this would take you back into that one-legged down dog. We're not gonna do that again. And lower the leg down. Just stay into that down dog. Come up onto your toes. Down into child's pose. From here, extend the arms out, just stretch. And then come on up onto all fours, spread the feet so they're running the hips, and then round through. Only round through. Curl the toes, shift your weight onto your feet, transfer up, slowly stacking vertebrae on top of that vertebrae as you tuck your hips forward, roll the shoulders back. From here, take a deep breath in, lift. Exhale, draw those hands down. Lift the chest. One more time, lift, spread those feet out. From here, grab elbow to elbow, bend your knees, side bend over to one side. Inhale as you lift, exhale over to the other side. Breathe deep. Inhale up, send the arms up, bring the feet under your hip joint, take the arms down, lift the chest, take one arm, press it down, turn the thumb back, head tilt. Release up on the inhale, exhale, other side. Release, take a deep breath in. Palms touch and back down. Now up to the heart, hands and heart center. And I bow down. And that is your yoga stretch. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great afternoon. Or if you did in the morning or later on in the evening, have a great, great day. Take care. Thank you for joining me.